Well, hello, men. Now I've just changed the oil in my vehicle. Then everything seems to go very smoothly. And I will dispose of the oil in a responsible manner. And then I thought I'd have my car cleaned. But it's quite cheap, but quite a cue. So I decided to go and get something to eat. Then I went down to a place called the Marina, near where I live, by the sea, of course. Not a very great place. It certainly tried to be something, but it just never made it. But they do have some food places down there. So I had to mingle with the humanoids. Oh, I don't like doing that. Now, as you know, Pizza Hut has been going downhill for many, many years, along with Subway and many others. But I haven't gone into a Pizza Hut for, I don't know, probably about 10 years, I guess. And I thought I'd go in there and just to try it. Kill some time. So I had to stand there and wait to be seated. And I was seated and then this very weak, pasty sort of male, at least I think it was, told me something about the paying and all that sort of thing. And I found out that they don't take any cash. It's card only. So I said, you don't take any cash at all. And he said, no, it's on the front door. I said, I don't normally read rules and regulations when I'm coming in to get a pizza. So I had to get up and walk out because I didn't have my card on me. Now, of course, this is kind of happening to a lot of people. And I know most young guys on the building site don't have any cash on them at all. They use their phone app. Of course, the trouble is, a phone is electronic, and it's run by a battery. So what happens if anything goes wrong with their phone? Then they could be classed as a vagrant, because they've got no money on them. And I have visions of cashless societies, where you have a barcode or something put under your skin, in your scalp. I like to carry some cash on me, at least. Even if it's just for emergency. Anyway, I had to go eat at McDonald's, and the first thing I asked them was, Do you take cash? And they did. So I had a shitty burger and fries and a coffee. Now the McDonald's was very busy. But there seems something wrong in the UK that I've noticed. Although the McDonald's was busy, it was also hectic. There was no ketchup in the pumps. And it just appeared that there was too much for everybody there. Now I've been to McDonald's in other countries and it was busy of course, but it was just busy. They seemed to be handling okay. Lots of things in the UK, unfortunately, seem to be broken. The infrastructure is one of them. Any little problem in one thing will affect all of them. Anyway, my car wasn't quite ready yet, so I went to have myself a beer. A San Miguel, just a half. I was driving. And I went outside where the chairs were and I could look at the old boats that never move. And it was a dull, quite cold, fairly windy day, but I wanted to have a smoke. Then I'd only been out there two minutes, and two middle-aged femons come out. They wanted to smoke too, and they stood right almost next to me. And it's funny how femons are completely oblivious to anybody else on the planet. They started talking to each other quite loudly, and they never shut up all the time they were having a smoke. It's a wonder they got time to drag on their smokes at all. And of course, it was gobbledygook. Garbage. So they finally went in, and then I could hear a load of other femons talking. And I look over and there's five other femons walking down the promenade. And they're all talking at the same time very loudly. And once again it's all gobbledygook. And I thought to myself, geez, do they ever shut the hell up? Oh, I know femons can talk a lot as we all know, but they're just becoming a bit more annoying to me, I guess. You know, I wouldn't mind if they were talking sort of sensible, but no. Anyway, I'm safe back inside now, and that's where a miserable old bastard like me should be. So what do you guys think of the cashless society? What do you think they'd have to have? Kind of a barcode under the skin? They'd also have to have a retina scan too, I would think. Otherwise, you could just chop the guy's arm off or whatever and use that. And do any of you guys out there carry cash on you? And what happens if these young guys' phone screws up? Well, you'll have to find an older person that's got some money on them, I guess. This is what I generally noticed when I was out. There was a few younger femons out, but they all looked like they had a knot in their face. They didn't look very happy at all for some reason. Maybe that was just me, I don't know. Anyway, roll on Moretti time tonight. Just my observations, guys. You take it easy.